Pisces, my Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces, my Pisces, Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces. What's up, water babies? What's poppin'? Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. Y'all, this is just a damn warning. If this is your first time viewing my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube that can resonate better with you, all right? You guys, this is for the February 1-9, for the 1st to the 15th of February, all right? This will be for my sun, my moon, my rising, my Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Pisces. To the new subscribers, welcome to the family. We're a little dysfunctional over here, okay? We don't fight. We don't fuck. Us. We leave that shit on other people's channel, but we do cuss, all right? We share, we love, we grow, we evolve, y'all. We are one big happy family. Thank you so much, everybody, for the love, the support, the likes, the shares, the comments, y'all. I truly appreciate it. I humbly appreciate it. I was supposed to go live on the 26th. Mocha had some legal issues going on. Uh, they whoop whoop my ads for some tickets for 2010, so I had to take care of that. Still got some stuff going on, but we rocking. We not gonna let that. We not gonna let not a one monkey stop the Mocha show, okay? All right, so we're going to get into it without further ado. All right, so we're going to, um, and oh, God, oh, goodness, you guys, verbatim, um, got to gotta keep pushing it out there because I do have new people following my channel. You guys, this is not a personal, it is a general. If you need a personal reading, I'm only doing emergency readings up until February the 3rd. After that, prices will resume as normal. You guys, my $25 reading is no more. It's gone no mas because I find myself going way over and I find that those people are the people who are not really appreciative so i love them to death love all y'all to death but certain shit is just i'm not having no more okay period we family y'all should understand we ain't got to break it down all right so we're gonna start with you guys as archangel messages for my sign of pisces for the first to the 15th of february what you guys got was patience all right from archangel hofael Jophiel, hopefully I pronounced that right, y'all. Somebody break it down in the description. <laughs> but it says your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience, okay? So what I get from that, a, a lot of you guys, especially during those moon cycles, a lot of your energies uh, may be a bit sensitive. Some of you guys may be kind of dream, drifting back and forth, especially when it comes to your dreams, uh, back um from this life to past life. So I feel like for some of you all, you may feel like you're in two two different dimensions. Some of you all really need to um really, really, really need to focus on your heart chakra. For some of you all, it's definitely your throat chakra, but you're really needing to speak your peace, speak your mind, speak up for yourselves, and don't allow anybody to treat you no if no no any kind of way. I feel like a lot of you guys have been patient with other people, but you're needing to put that same energy within yourself and spirit gonna put it in your face if you have never seen it no more, okay, during this time. Some of y'all are really gonna be praying more than you ever have before. All right, so Spirit, what can Pisces, let me ask, please. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Spirit, what can my Pisces expect in love from the 1st to the 15th of February? What can my Pisces expect in love? Right, for some of you all, some of you all are being courageous, okay? Especially when it comes to dealing with past life cycles, all right, or past life relationships. For some of you all, you could definitely be dealing with the Sagittarius or a Leo during the 1st and the 15th of February. But I feel like a lot of you all have been kind of courageous and pushing through, you guys, the burdens, you know, and the, the, the stagnant energy that's kind of trying to project that fear on my damn Pisces to make y'all feel like, you know, nothing that you do is working. But I definitely feel like some of you guys are really needing to see beyond the illusion during this time. Some of you guys are going to have some type of harmonious relationship with the Leo when it comes to past life dealings. I feel like for those Pisces that I'm talking about dealing with the sign of Leo, the number six will be on your damn head. Threes and sixes and in increments. Some of you guys may be seeing three, three, three in that spirit letting you know that what it is that you're praying for, what it is that you've been trying to manifest, I am going to magnified here on the surface but you're really needing to have that patience with yourself for some of you all it definitely involves offering a cup of love or accepting a cup of love possibly from a Sagittarius who you possibly didn't have the best damn cycle with in the past okay I feel like there's an opportunity for some of you guys to move forward confidently on this path with this person or 
or for some of y'all it's being courageous courageous and moving away but some of y'all I feel like there's an obstacle having to do with the past life love and I feel like those obstacles during this time will be removed and there will be harmonious outcomes but you guys got to be more optimistic allow hope if maybes and shit to fade completely away from your vocabulary so you can actually start seeing seeing your rapid manifestations that that damn lunar eclipse opened up okay for some of you all it has to do with commitment okay or some type of partnership this could also be with co-parenting i feel that you guys are really needed to say it with your chest during this time some of y'all you have a tourist during this time that's going to that, that pretty much this person have been holding the key for quite some time but a lot, a lot of y'all are going to be really standing up for yourself during this time straight up just like you know what fuck that i am the prize i am the star i am the prize i am the damn goal so what we gonna do is we gonna we gonna remix this shit and how this works is these are my boundaries all right these are my boundaries i'm not giving you no ultimatums i'm just letting you know that whether you go or you stay i'm in acceptance with this shit some of you guys could also um some of y'all who were connected to a Leo, this could be a co-parenting relationship, but I definitely see harmonious times going forward, okay? I definitely see this person coming to express their love. Um, I feel like this person could have also been driven by like pride in the past, but those obstacles are again are being removed and it has to do with your good karma. For some of you all, those of you who have been waiting on any type of legalities, I feel like there's balance coming to um, legal situations. For some some of you all, this definitely has to do with somebody who was married or connected or have children with someone. Some of y'all could definitely be going into new cycles. For those of you who were having financial difficulties or financial, um, like you had turmoil going on in your life, okay, I, around finances, I do see that actually coming to a harmonious pretty much a harmonious moving towards harmonious outcomes with that all right so those of you who are dealing with legalities during this first to the 15th of february you guys are going to be hearing good news with that and it is going to allow you to take them damn ones off your back like damn finally this shit ain't so damn heavy mocha oh my goodness yes <laughs> thank you spirit for validation yeah Financial blessings for the sign of Pisces during the 1st to the 15th. Those of you who are looking for new jobs, especially if you're going towards anything having to do with the legal field, for those of you who are trying to do any type of uh, government state jobs, for those of you who've been worried about this government shutdown, please stop. It's something about the number uh, four and five with that. I do see them lifting that. I feel like they've already lifted it, but I do see some funny shit coming a little bit before then, but by the month of April, really on the cool, really getting into y'all birthday time, like end of February into March, things are really going to start picking up very rapid for you guys. But I definitely see, feel like the seeds have already been planted for you guys to begin to see that uh, during these first two weeks of February. Yeah, some of y'all are moving away from somebody, possibly a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, after some type of financial blessing, okay? <laughs> some of y'all are going to be communicating with a fire sign or you could be receiving communication from a fire sign that they're moving away to focus on their financial endeavors okay and i feel like worry not my baby because uh we gonna win i've been down nine times but i get up ten have patience with yourself know that certain people gotta be moved out of your damn life out of your sector out of your out of your fucking way so that you can really see your prize See, it's a, see, keep your eye on that target, what it is that you want, what your heart desires. Some of you guys really need to focus on your creative endeavors during this time as well because it's going to actually bring you bring you what it is that you've been trying to manifest. And for some of you all, it's, fi it's, it's literally um, fulfillment, okay? It's bringing balance back into your world, especially when it has to do with finances. Those of you who've been waiting for that new job, here it come, boo. Here it come. Some of y'all are going to have to choose between two partners, possibly a water sign and a fire sign. For some of y'all, it's a um, it's a fire sign and an earth sign. But I feel like that balance is being restored, especially when it comes to a soulmate relationship. I feel that some of you guys, there could have been some type of blockage having to do with the earth sign as well that was kind of in the midst of you being able to manifest that soulmate relationship that you guys have been trying to get. But understand, for some of y'all, it could have just simply been finances. And I see there being a twist and turning of events. So Spirit is saying, be patient, Pisces. Be patient. Those of you who have been with someone for quite some time, I'm, I'm feeling the number six i see the number eight for some of y'all could be six months um 
eight months, six years, five years, I see three years, and you've been waiting on this person to commit. For some of y'all, fears say 15, okay? That could even be six, but I feel like for some of y'all, it's literally 15 years. For somebody to commit, you finna get it, especially if you're dealing with the time of Taurus. But for some of y'all, you're definitely going into new cycles, all right? So let's clarify these major iconas and see what we got, okay? All right. Let's clarify. Let's turn these upside down. The hell? Let's clarify these major iconas here. Why is the temperance card here? Why is the temperance card here? Yes, for some of y'all, you got a twin flame that's a Sagittarius. Okay, and I feel like for some of y'all, this could also be a Gemini. But for those of you who are waiting to reconcile with someone, especially if finances was the issue and why you guys couldn't progress or there was this stagnancy, that lift is being removed so that you can truly get what it is that you want. All right, especially if this person is a Sagittarius and your damn twin flame or a Gemini twin. Spirit is saying no more blockages. The blockages removed. Why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card here? Three of them. I'm going to take it. Yeah. For some of you guys, it was about offering stability in order to move forward, okay, in a situation that you felt like was dead, 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 possibly with the Leo on Earth sign. Okay. Again, they go to damn Sagittarius as well. Blockage is being removed. Why is the Hierophant here? For the sign of Pisces. Why is the Hierophant here? Whoa. Yeah. For some of you all, it took for some of y'all. Things can balance out a bit quicker, and I feel like it has to do with good karma, but some of y'all are not making the proper judgment on letting shit go and really trusting the process. The more you try to hold on to control shit, the more shit just happens to go left, because that's not your part. Your part is that duality. Your part is that compromise. Your part is that balance. Your part is the healing. Your part is the nurturing. It's not your damn part to control people's decisions, because ultimately you cannot. People have to make a free will choice to do what they got to do. Why is the justice card here for my Pisces? Come on, babies. Yeah, for some of you guys, <laughs> good karma. And some of y'all are going to be hearing communication, okay, possibly from some type of case or some type of uh, someone, possibly from someone who you have some type of legality or legality tie, legal ties to that is going to allow you to get that damn monkey off your back. Get it off your back. Put them ones down. Ain't they heavy? And allow you to truly see the options of where you have to go before you, whether it's in love, okay, or somebody who possibly thought the damn grass was greener on the other side who wanted a damn divorce. Now they didn't actually exhausted all them options and now they want to come home and offer this love. Fuck all that. Is that what you want, Pisces? Because I feel like you've been working on what everybody else wants for a long time. And it's time to let that go. Do you understand? Because your ultimate outcome is a soulmate. Whether it's this person or it is or it's not that person. You know why? Because Pisces put in the work. And Pisces been working their ass off. And for some of y'all, it's an Aquarius, okay? Things are finally going to be able to move forward. Somebody is going to start talking right now. I feel like some of y'all, what was not progressing, what wasn't able to, what wasn't, why you guys, some of y'all, why you wasn't able to move forward was because somebody was really keeping all of their feelings close to their chest. And I feel like for some of y'all, this person could have moved away. And I feel like this person is definitely going to be coming out of this energy because they have found that balance. By somebody literally fucking over their ass or doing that same shit to them. So really be patient with yourself, all right? Set those clear boundaries, my babies. But I definitely feel like you guys are coming out of times with people where, you know, you didn't want to be vulnerable. Like your eyes are working differently now, but you're needing to have that patience with yourself and really see past the illusion. See past somebody not talking to you and kind of go a bit deeper. What could be going on? What was the last, the last time I talked to that person? What was the root of their conversation? Was it finances? Okay. Was it clearing karma? What was it? See past what you feel might be going on and be open to, you know, be open to different outcomes that doesn't involve negativity because sometimes spirit be working for us and it feels like things are happening to us, okay? But I definitely feel like for those of you who are having a hard time moving away from a karmic partner to be with your twin flame or to be with your soulmate that you know and your soul was destined for you, those blockages are being removed. It's time to go. Some of y'all got somewhere to be, which is new love, and you manifested this. By staying positive and knowing that it was coming. Why is the world card here for my Pisces in love? Yep. Ace of Swords. Some of you guys, you're getting that truth and clarity that's going to push you guys towards that harmony. Push you guys towards that balance. Uh, remove those fears that make you feel as if you're not enough or make you feel as if you don't have enough. Okay? Yeah, because this... <laughs> 
1st to the 15th of February, Pisces is going to be on their best new money shit. Independent, independent, happy, free, and open to love, open to have this new understanding and just knowing that this new beginning in love that I manifested, baby, it belongs to me. It's my birthright. Claim that shit, know that shit, and it's yours, baby, all right? So that's what I have for my Pisces for the month of February, the 1st to the 15th in love. If you guys need a personal reading, that information will be found in the description. I love you long time. Y'all birthday getting ready to come up, y'all. Who gonna twerk with Mocha? <laughs> For them Pisces. Hey, look here. Y'all know y'all my babies. I cannot wait to turn it with y'all during y'all birthday season. For now, much love, much light, many blessings, much prosperity to you babies. And namaste. Mwah. Bye, y'all.